atrial fibrillation is a common condition, particularly in older people and in people with certain other conditions in which the heart beats irregularly. Um, as well as beating irregularly, it also tends to beat quite fast until the condition is diagnosed and the symptoms are controlled. Just this awful you know, feeling that your heart, it sort of always feels as if it's far too big for your chest mm -hmm. and it's making this terrible, terrible, and it's very frightening. I mean, the phrase cardiac neurosis comes to mind because you really do think you're going to die. It's horrid. Yes. I woke one Sunday morning in the summer, four years ago. Um, I've always had a bit of a problem with indigestion and I had palpitation. And uh, I got up, dressed and had breakfast and went to get up from having my breakfast to wash up and, well, really, you know, I was quite dizzy and sat down here on the city and knew that something was wrong. I actually only discovered that I had AF um, about a year ago. Um, and it was really because I was attending a GP as a result of uh, what I thought was high blood pressure. And in taking my blood pressure, he noted that I had a very irregular um, heartbeat. And then he did an ECG himself and then referred me to hospital uh, to have an ECG. Um, and that's basically how I found out about it. I, yeah, I had a, had a stroke before I realised I had AF. Um, on Saturday lunchtime, I believe it was. And um, I went upstairs to get changed to go and do some work in the garden. And I collapsed in a heap. Don't panic, don't get depressed. Um, it can be dealt with. Um, pro provided it's, lo it's looked at and looked after, it's not going to kill you. You can carry on your life generally. Um, or you may have to shift back a gear a bit, but um, just, just go with it. So in a way, I, I, sometimes I say it's one of the worst things that has happened to me, but it's one of the best things that has happened to me. It's forced me to look at my life 